all right, it's fine. Most people remember me for the heels, not for the face, the name, or anything that I value. <laughs> it's fine. So no, yeah, I came here. I worked hard on my look tonight. I am wearing big old heels because I can't think of an easier way to get unsolicited negative opinions about my apparel from both men and women. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, they're bad for your back, they're bad for your knees, they're probably bad for, like, your brain or some shit like that. And everybody sees them, and they turn into chiropractors. Oh my god, you can't wear those. Oh, watch me. Watch me. <laughs> and it's it's crazy. It's like people will be like, oh, you you can walk in those? They make women look like baby giraffes. Like, first of all, first of all, if I looked like a baby giraffe right now, you would have no time to be worrying about my shoes. You'd be like, look at the baby giraffe. Why is it that long time? <laughs> all the way up until the lion bit me in the ass and killed me six hours after I fell six feet from my mom's vagina. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> But uh, I'm not really a baby giraffe, which, by the way, I believe the uh, politically correct term is giraffe. <laughs> I am not part of the giraffe. Instead, I prefer to have you think of me as a velociraptor in training. See these feet right here, these ones? They can walk, run, strut, dance, twerk, tell jokes, and hunt down prey. Probably, I haven't tried, uh, but probably I can. <laughs> All like this, right? So, what I'm saying is, give me a couple thousand years, eventually the stiletto part will break off, and I will be chasing down prey on the balls of my feet. Isn't that, like, that's evolution at its finest, right? <laughs> that's amazing. Exactly what I look forward to. Um, but, God, I gotta tell you, I think the best thing about heels is that everybody can mind their own damn business whether I'm wearing them or not. Isn't that great? Like, give it up for real. You can love to mind your But I guess like I'm addicted to heels a little bit. It's fine. I hate traveling with them though, because packing them is an absolute bitch. But wearing them to the airport is worse. Because anything in an airport is worse than literally everything not in an airport. <laughs> no, you don't believe me. You're like, uh-huh, airport jokes. She's so original. No, hear me out, because I have airport jokes with diabetes. You don't. Okay? I have type 1 diabetes. I've been beating it into submission for four years now. We like violence, right? Yeah. Type 1 diabetes, killing it, killing it. Um, and I wear this little thing. It's called a glucometer. I'll go ahead and show the audience. It's a little glucometer, right? And it's because uh, being a full-time law student and having three part-time jobs wasn't enough, so now I like freelance as a pancreas. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I wear this glucometer, and I know it's going to trip a metal detector. So when I go in, I walk up to TSA, and I'm going to debrief them, so it's going to be easy, right? So I walk up to them, and I'm like, hi, oh my god, good morning, how are you? And they're like, ugh. I'm like, okay, fair, like, oh, work days, am I right? Like, there's no, I'm getting nothing from these people. It's awful. It's so bad. Um, so I say, well, just so you know, yeah, I've got this little uh, meter right here. It's by my waist, and it's going to set off your metal detectors. Just letting you know. No big deal, right? And I watch in real time as my words ping off of the steel plate that must be in their heads. Because $15 an hour is not enough to also be cordial if you're protecting the country. Like, I get it. It's fine. Totally fine. So, I do the song and dance, I walk in, I throw up the Illuminati signal, and I wait, and I wait, <laughs> and then I go, and I try to step out, and I get, ma'am, something in the area of your waist set off our metal detectors, we're going to have to patch you down. And so I grab the black ropes, because I'm like, my, roll my eyes are rolling back into my head, and I don't want to black out on them, because I don't think I'm on drugs, and I'm going to fly. So I, uh, I just say, well, you know, about 45 seconds ago, I told you, I'm, I'm wearing the glucometer, it's right here. Like, we had this talk, maybe you missed it, it's fine. So, I do the thing again, I uh, spread out for the pat down, <laughs> and they go, pat, 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 pat. and then I watch as this model of intellect looks at me and goes, you know, I think that thing on your waist might be what's off our metal detectors. And I'm like, holy shit, what? Well, I feel like I told you that for the second time, not 17 seconds ago, but, I see that you are an independent fact checker, and by God, I love that about you. <laughs> I love to see it. So we do that song and dance, and then eventually they're like, you're free to go. So now they can go on like their six hour smoke break or whatever they do, because we know they're not protecting us, right? Like That is entirely security theater. I wish I could be like, yeah, TSA. I can't, I know better. I carry boxes of needles through, so they don't stop me. I know. <laughs> like, but then I have to do that thing where like, I wrap my belt around my laptop and my shoes and I have like my liquids in my mouth and I'm like waddling away from the station. <laughs> There's no one waiting for you, but like you're not prepared and you like unpack everything you own. 
just because. <laughs> and my dumb ass, as soon as I'm walking away, I'm like, thank you so much, I'm so sorry, I'm all that, I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, why am I apologizing? Why am I saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry, when they just unpacked all my luggage and then they like filled me up. Like, this is weird <laughs> that I should be like, you're welcome. <laughs> like, I accept gratuities. Like, why, why do you do that? I mean, I have some theories, okay? And you guys tell me what you think. I don't, I'm not for sure on any of them. But first theory, I'm a little too damn Midwestern. It's a real problem. You apologize when someone hurts you. Someone like could punch you and be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry that my, my face got in the way of your fist. I'm so sorry. Like, why do I do that? Number two, uh, too damn Catholic. I'm too, uh, in, in recovery, mind you, I, I am still a practicing Catholic but I've opened up a worldview, it's really exciting. Um, but number three, and number three is my favorite, and you can tell me how you feel about it. Uh, the reason I haven't stopped them yet is because I'm biding my time until I wear these bitches into the airport. <laughs> Thank you so much. Woo! Please give it up for Amanda Marino!